Hello and welcome back to another one of our adventures. Today I thought I would just take you along for a walk with us. So this is the route and I've got Oliver that I always walk Barney and there's a little fairy garden down here there's logs for them to play on and I just thought it would be nice and fun for you to see really and again if you've got toddlers and dogs and not quite sure of things to do with both of them I thought this could give you a nice idea of the things they like and get up to so I've got Oliver in his buggy at the minute and Barney is just over there by a tree and yeah I hope you enjoy this I hope you find it helpful and useful and let's see where we end up and what we get up to along the way <laughs> don't kids just love a puddle I mean I don't care where you are what you do long as I get to jump in a muddy puddle <laughs> they have yeah. the best time <laughs> is that fun let's just hope Barney doesn't <laughs> run past and knock him in oh my gosh I don't have a change of clothes so that would mean going straight home <laughs> And Oliver's top is in age two to three, which is why it looks like he's wearing a dress. He's not wearing a dress, it's just big. <laughs> They're definitely the best of friends. It's so lovely seeing the relationship Barney and Oliver have. So lovely. Oliver doesn't want this puddle because he's got a bit muddy and he hates being muddy <laughs> but honestly they are such good friends it's honestly it's the most magical thing just seeing them play together and run together I think you know if it's possible I think pets are the best thing for kids something to love something to have a best friend when they're older someone to tell all their worries to I know not everyone's allowed because of allergies and um, some places don't allow pets but I think if you're able to it really does make a huge difference. They're turning into little dots. <laughs> oh dear, I'm really losing him now. <laughs> that way, can you do it? Here we are at the logs I was talking about. They've chopped some trees down and made a nice little assault course for kids, which I think is really nice. And if you go down here, there's a bit more of the fairy trail and you can see a lot of bird boxes and it's so lovely, but it's really hard with the buggy. So we're going to go down that way to get there. Do you want help? Help. You're going to do a big jump. Wow. You've done it. That was clever. Wow! That's it. Take my hand. Oh, nearly. Wow, big 
jump. <laughs> Does yourself off. Can you jump? You want to jump on that one? Go on then, be careful. Whoa, nearly. That's what I love about days like this. It's a lot of the time when they jump. <laughs> you think it costs a lot to have a good day out, but it really doesn't. If you've got anywhere like this around you that's just got some logs laying around or bits of wood you know they can spend so long just playing running it really it doesn't cost a lot to have a fun day out he is a very clumsy child <laughs> but um yeah it really does not cost a lot at all just walk in the woods walk around your local areas and just see what you can find i mean we never knew this was here. We just found it by coincidence one day. We was in lockdown. We just thought we'd go for a walk and explore. And like I said, it's just a cheap day out. It doesn't cost anything. It gets you out, get some fresh air, burn some calories. It's so great. So I highly recommend if you don't know there's anything like this near you, go exploring. You'll be so surprised at what you can find. Thank you! Oh, thank you for helping me. <laughs> Mummy's going to see if she can climb this. <laughs> see if we can go this way. Oh. <laughs> what? Right, mommy's gonna jump. Move, Barney. Ah! There it is, this little house over there, isn't there? Barney! A door? Wow! Windows. Do you think the fairy's home? <gasps> Windows. It's a fairy's house. We've got a bug hotel. Fairy's house, that's right. Oh look, here's some new. He wasn't here last time. Oh, have you found another one? This one's got a pet dragon, look. Oh wow. Oh, door. What? Bird feeders. Another little bug hotel up there. More little bird feeders. Little nesting box. So another one. This one's got pet dragon as well. Wow, window. Wow. A door. Oh, who lives there? Literally, this is so lovely. It really is. I guess so we didn't even know it was here. It was just passing through one day and found it. It's just so lovely. And I like how Oliver can play and Barney can still run around. I feel so guilty. Oliver made another friend called Oliver. And now his friend had to go so now he is literally he's going go go let's run run he's trying to get me to run after them and you know you can't do that with strangers <laughs> but 
he is so upset. Oh, it's, it's like he's heartbroken. He found a friend who was having a great time. They had to go. And now he's... He's sulking. <laughs> it's so sad. But it's so lovely as well how they make friends. And like when you're a kid, you just make friends so easily. And you're like then best friends. And it's so, so lovely. Listen, sitting down having a little picnic again it's the little things Barney's found a nice stick <laughs> Oliver's got some food so relaxing being in nature what are you doing with your stick? wow Oliver, hide! Hide! Mm -hmm. Go hide! Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come! Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's Oliver? There you are! You hid! Hide! One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. Where's Oliver gone? Where's he gone? Is he over here somewhere? Ah! Hi! Hi! I should probably explain, we've come back here. Because we walked down, I mean we walked back because Oliver wanted to chase his friend. He ended up wanting to come back in here and run around. So we've been playing hide and seek and playing on the logs and everything again. So this is round two on here. It's not just the video split really weird in any way. <laughs> it's just, we're back here playing the world's biggest stick. As you do, I'm kind of wanting to go home. I want a coffee. I want to sit down. But Oliver's having fun, and that's the main thing. Hide, hide. hide. again. Game? Oh, they never try with games, do they? Hide, hide. <laughs> but I'm really in need of a coffee. Hide. Okay, darling, we'll play one more time. Yeah. And then mummy really, really, really needs a coffee. Ah. You found me? Ah. ah, you found me. You found me. <laughs> <laughs> he has found the biggest stick I think I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, look at it. <laughs> I hope you're not expecting us to take this home. Can you do it? That's it, clever. Oh, well done. Well done. Hey. You are so clever. Well, that is the end of our little adventure today. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with us. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy my content. Really would mean the absolute world to me. And we will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.